Hey, what's up? This is Freddy Gandarilla here uh, from Internet Marketing Blog 101.com. And today I'm going to teach you how to get free traffic from forums. All right. I'm going to make this a short video because I don't want to take a lot of your time and I want to go straight to the point and show you uh, what I personally do to get traffic from forums. You know, so my main goal here is to teach you how to get free traffic because I know a lot of people, uh, you know, have a big challenge or you know find it as a big challenge to get more traffic for free to their blog so um, I'm teaching people how to build a successful blog online so I want to tell them and teach them how to get free traffic and the same things that I do I'm going to be teaching that to you so uh, get ready to learn some uh, good stuff here all right so basically the first thing that I tell people to do is to get organized, all right? And as you can see in my browser, I have everything organized for me to just come in whenever I work on my blog and just be very productive and do everything that I need to be doing uh, to take my blog one step closer to whatever I want to whatever I want to uh, get my blog to, you know, if I want to uh, start getting I mean if one day I want to get a thousand visitors a day or five thousand visitors a day whatever my goal is you know I need to make sure that every time every time I come online to work online I am taking I one one step closer to that goal for my blog you know so I have everything organized you know from article directories video sites guest blogging syndication social networks you know free solo free solo ads uh, you know, I have everything organized, so I need you to do the same thing. Get organized with your work. You know, if you don't like the way I do it, that's fine. You don't have to do exactly as I tell you, as long as you do the same thing in a different way. You know, you could have all of your links uh, in, in a text file if you want. If you don't want to have that many bookmarks and 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 folders on your browser but this is what i personally do i get organized like that so every time uh, everything is a click away uh to me you know from me and it, i work faster uh, and i am more productive when i have everything very organized and and it's with easy access um, i hope you get what i'm saying here so forums right um, what do you do with forums well you basically go to forums and you share a lot of value you know i'm talking about real value you know just don't don't go to a forum and just uh you know everything that you say and you reply with is hey nice comment hey that was nice from from you or hey nice to meet you you know you need to reply with something with value you know like you need to become an active member you need to be known as someone that will give you good advice so you need to be known as a uh, experienced guy you know you need to be an experienced member and people notice that a lot you know on forums if you do it a lot and people start recognizing you and every time you post something on the forum they read it they follow your links they want to know more about what you're talking about so they follow your links and, and they follow you because you are coming off as an expert so that's what you want to do and how do you become an expert well the best way to become an expert is by studying you know getting educated investing in your education you know that's the best way to become an expert and that's the only way to become an expert you know and also to practice what you talk about because you know that's another way to become an expert to because you know by practicing right uh, how, how do you become an expert at driving you know, how do you drive unconsciously without really thinking about it? You just drive. And that is because you have perfected that action. You have perfected perfected that technique to drive, to, to you know, to just do it. Even in, I mean, I'm not saying to drive with your eyes closed, but you could drive without, you know, by, uh, without really thinking about it. You know, you could be listening to music, talking to somebody. And, you know, this is how... Uh, people you know multitask behind the wheel not that not that that is a good thing and i don't really recommend you at all to you know multitask when you're driving because it's dangerous uh not because you can't do it 
you know you can and and why do you think that is you know think about it you know it's because unconsciously you are a master at that skill you know you are a master at driving so you don't really need to need too much uh i mean you don't really need to think about it too much in order to do it you know you could be talking on the phone and, and be driving uh, if you think about that you know it's because you have mastered driving and you can do it unconsciously so think about that and then think about your business online and when you are building a blog and when you when you are doing the work the necessary work to take your blog to success you need to be a master at what you do at the things that you need to be doing so how do you become a, a good blogger uh, you know a master at blogging at writing you do it a lot you do it a lot and you do it a, as much as you can and again and again on a daily basis or at least you know four or five times a week and eventually you know in three to six months you will do it unconsciously you know it will become easier and easier to write a blog post it will become easier to you know go to forums and talk to people you know it will become part of your life it will become something like brushing your teeth you know what i mean so you need to uh practice a lot you know take massive action with what i teach you all right so with that in mind you know get organized get all, all of your links together uh, find the forums where you uh, you know relevant to your niche you know so if you're if you're if your blog is about uh weight loss then you need to find a, a forum about weight loss all right you need to find a forum about your what what your blog is about your niche you know what i'm talking about here so about your market if you're if your blog is about uh relationship tips then you need to find forums where people are talking about relationship tips you know where people talk about it they ask questions and you know things like that you know uh so my niche is internet marketing of course and blogging so what I do, I'm going to teach you exactly what I do, is I find all the forums on my niche, on blogging, on internet marketing, and I just go around and just reply as much as I can, you know, become very active, interact with people, talk to people, share a lot of tips, you know, and whenever somebody's asking, whenever I don't know uh, the answer to a question, I don't stop there you know I actually go and and do a little research go to Google real quick you know learn how to do research all right that's another thing I, I, I want you to really embrace and to, to really understand learn how to do research really fast so you can give um, you know an answer on the forum all right uh, and that way you will learn as well you know by doing the research for someone you will also learn new information so what I do sometimes when I see a question and 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 I don't have the answer for it, but I know I could find it. So I, I do a little research really quick, you know, really quickly go to Google or Bing or whatever search engine you use or YouTube and, you know, try to find the answer to that question. All right. Uh, take a time to learn it. Take a time to read blogs and, and whatever it is that you need to to read and watch or listen to. Uh, to learn about the uh, the solution to that problem and then go back to the forum and talk about it and, and tell that person the solution that you just learned all right and but don't tell them that you just learned just tell them the solution you know uh, nobody needs to know that you just research that information right, uh, right before you posted the reply to the thread in the forum uh, but you know th that's a good way for you to educate yourself to you know invest in your education for free you know you don't really need to uh spend money in order to get educated and, you know especially with the internet today and the in the search engines you can educate yourself on anything that you want of course uh, i'm not disregarding investing in your education and paying actually for an actual training and, and for a class or, or coaching uh if you have uh if you are able to do that then do it all right so i'm just i'm just saying that if you don't have the money right now you could do it for free as well 
all right and if when and whenever you get more money then it start paying for tra more intense training and better training uh, and coaching and stuff like that but right now if you don't have any money or you don't or you, or you have little money there's a way around it all right so i understand that so th this is why i'm teaching you exactly what i do because um i do all of this uh free traffic strategies so i can teach them to you and you can see exactly how to do it and i can show you that it works all right because as you can uh, as you see my success then you will realize that it works all right so i'm building this blog uh it's only like a year old and i'm just recently were being very active with the blog so now i'm doing a lot of marketing for it i'm doing i'm doing a lot now and i'm going to show you exactly what i'm doing so you can do the same and get the same results all right so like i told you get organized and then just go to the forums i'm going to show you one of the forms that i use is the digital point.com i use that one a lot because i don't know i like the community there's a lot of people coming in uh you know interacting in here so i use this forum to find uh questions that people have you know so i can blog about it that's another thing that you can do with the forum you can find uh you know more ideas for the content of your blog all right so i mean of your blog post if one day you run out of ideas on what to write about then go to forums you know like i said like i said do a little bit of research you know you could use a forum for this and then just uh look what people is asking you know find people's problems and then solve them in a blog post uh that's that's the easiest way to come up with uh content ideas look around all right don't get stuck and say oh i don't know what to write about or i just don't know what to write about you can't say that because if you say that to yourself then you will never find anything to write about all right there are million thing a million things for you to write about uh and you know that you should know that you know be a really really open-minded and realize that there's no way that you could you know tell me or tell anyone or yourself that you you just don't know what to write about i mean it, it, that to me it just sounds like you just don't want to write and you are unconsciously you're just you just don't want to write you know you you want to be a little bit lazy and you don't want to write uh that's what i get from from uh from that message or from when people tell tell me that they just don't know what to write i mean come on i, I have gone through stuff like that i understand at the beginning you don't know what to write about and sometimes most of the time it's because we don't really truly want to be writing you know i mean i i get that but if this is what it takes then you need to learn how to like it all right you need to learn how to like it if you don't like it now you need to learn how to like it because that is what will help you put money in your pocket think about it like that so it becomes your job and this is the best job in the world right all right to own a blog that makes you money on the internet is the best thing that you can build so do whatever it takes to do it all right so if you don't know what to write about go to forums and find problems and solve them in your blog post simple as that all right so as you can see there's a lot of things that you can find on forums like that especially if you are on the inter in the internet marketing niche or blogging niche whatever and you can see all of the topics that they have photoshop html graphics you know if you're blogging about photoshop you can come here and and help people with their photoshop projects or teach them how to use how to use photoshop or, or teach them tricks you know from photoshop or you can teach people html if you're building a blog about html or reviews i mean come on guys there's a lot of su subjects out there a lot of niches that you could be talking about you could be building you know small niche blogs and i mean i don't recommend you to build many blogs at once of course you want to build one at a time you know uh, i'm telling you this from experience i have tried to build a lot of blogs at once 
uh, without having much money to outsource, uh, you know, most of the work. Because I mean, I'm not saying that you can't really cannot build a uh, build a lot of blogs at once. You can, but the best way to to uh, uh, to do it is by outsourcing most if not all of the work you know paying somebody else to blog for you paying somebody else to do the marketing for you you know paying for traffic and stuff like that paying for software paying you know outsourcing all of this stuff all of the work you know if you have money to outsource then you know you could you, uh, it is possible for you to build many niche blogs at once you know you could build 10 20 30 blogs at once at once but if you outsource most if not all of the work all right so uh just for you to understand that but if you don't have that much money and you're you are someone that is starting on the internet with a low budget then uh build one blog at a time and you know build it until you get at least 500 to a thousand visitors a day when once you reach that goal uh, there there are many ways for you to uh, you know take advantage of that traffic and, and increase the traffic you know once you get that much traffic 500 to a thousand visitors a day uh, you know you could work on a way for you to use that traffic and and double it you know every month there's a way to do it you know this is where you create a, uh, a snowball effect all right you know the, tra the traffic grows after after it's, it's getting big you know once the traffic is growing uh, it can really take off on its own and and you can relax a little bit and you know stop marketing so hard and, and you know but you basically you can stop taking a lot of action you know at some point in the future after taking a lot of action you can finally stop and just relax and just enjoy life a little bit more all right but until then you need to take as much as much action as you can all right so this is why you know you you also need to understand that the massive action that you take will not be for will not be forever all right you're not going to take action every year or no man you are going to take action only the first three months to six months of building a blog but you have to do whatever it takes all right and after that life will become much easier you can relax more you can you know wake up to to uh, you know commissions to money earned through your blog this is when you can start uh really really enjoying life more and make money at the same time you know that's what you want to accomplish so that's that is your end goal all right so you find what to write about from forums and you also use the forum to get traffic by uh, sharing information with people so as you can see in this forum uh, let me show you one of my posts and another thing that you need to understand and to learn I mean to know is that you want to be active only in the in the forums where they allow you to have a signature and at least one link in the signature all right if a forum doesn't let, allow you or doesn't let you have a signature and you can't have a link uh, in the signature or you can't share any links then you know there's no really a point on using that forum to get traffic you know you need to make sure you can have a link in your signature and that you are allowed to have a signature all right so uh, this is very important for you to understand all right a signature and if you don't know what a signature is is basically uh you know you can put a uh, whatever you want at the bottom of every thread or every reply or every post that you make on the forum uh this is one of mine and let me show you what i shared here this is what i shared in here uh last month uh, how do I get more readers for my blog? So I wrote all of this. Uh, as you can see, it's I share a lot of value and people love this, you know. So I give, you know, a specific information on a specific problem. 
brought you know very valuable information and then at the end i told people you know if they want to read a more detailed blog post about it you know to go to this link you know to my blog and i also have a link to my other blog in my signature so this is my signature right here all right that's my signature it, it will always be at the bottom of every post i make in the forum so that's the signature and you need to make sure that you are allowed to have a signature and a link in your signature to your blog if if a forum doesn't let you have that uh then maybe you shouldn't use it i mean I wouldn't use it because it will be a little bit of a waste of time if I can't promote my blog, you know, indirectly, basically. You know, you're promoting your blog indirectly. You're having a, a link to your blog in the signature, and all you're doing is just sharing value. And as you can see in every post that I make here, I have this signature here. All right, and you want to make sure you have a very catchy and, and eye-grabbing uh signature all right it is very important for you to also understand how to catch people's attention how to get the most clicks out of it i will recommend you to uh, know to do a, a split a split testing on the signatures and see what gets you the most clicks the way to do it is to you know uh track the links that you get and you know change things around all right you know but do it every week for example uh, be very active one week with one signature and see how many clicks you get like that and then do the same thing the following week with a different uh, signature and see how many clicks you get with that one and you know and basically you want to do as much text uh, testing as you as you want and just go with what works the best all right so that's one great tip tip on on forum marketing all right so i'm teaching you everything that i know on how to get traffic free traffic from the forums all right so this is one forum that i use myself to get traffic and you know i'm i'm somewhat new to the forum just a couple of months old and as you can see i already uh posted the 186 messages i got 32 likes i got 70 73 points uh which all of that which is uh you know all of that is pretty good actually for this uh forum you know there's a lot of new people that come in here uh on a daily basis and you can see it on the introductions uh page over here you can see how many people join every day all right so if the forum is two three years old how many people do you think is in the blog in the community uh you I, I think some blogs uh show you exactly how many members they have and you know you should uh be you should uh use the forums that have a lot of traffic coming in there's a lot of people in them um you know make sure that the forum has a lot of uh, members all right that's another important thing for you to to know when you are doing doing forum marketing uh there are some websites where you can uh find uh forums on your niche all right let me show you those i think this this one's one board reader this is a search engine to find forums all right so if you're uh you know blogging about weight loss let's see then maybe you want to find i mean you want to find a forum on weight loss all right weight loss so I'm going to leave a link around the video to to uh, this page and some other pages that you can use to find forums all right and as you can see there's some forums over here about weight loss so you know find the forums on your niche uh find out what the guidelines are you know the rules if you can have a signature or not if if you can have one or two links in the signature uh, most of the uh, most of the forums if not all of the forums um, are going are gonna need you to are gonna need you to become active before they let you uh, have a link in your signature or even have a signature so uh, sometimes a forum uh, is gonna ask you to post 
at least 25 messages or to have 25 posts on the forum before they let you get a signature or have a link in the signature. So understand that before uh, you join the forum. If, if uh, you see that they don't let you have a signature and you know they might have this restriction where you need to actually uh, earn some points before you have a signature. Uh, so make sure you look into that and you don't disregard a forum that is very good but you you just got confused you thought that they didn't let you have a signature when they did you know all you needed to do was just you know uh win some points or do whatever they ask you to do to to let you have a signature so make sure you are 100 percent sure that they let you get have a signature in the in the forum all right so this is one site that you can use for to find forums I'm going to leave this link somewhere around the video and I'm going to leave at some other links that I have for you to use uh, and find blog uh, forums on your niche all right so that's pretty much it guys so that's pretty much all I wanted to teach you and talk to you about forum marketing and exactly what I do I basically just share value you know i become an expert in the forums and people realize that people notices that and i become very active you know and I, I become the guy to go to and the guy to ask for uh any problems in my niche you know so if somebody has a problem in blogging over here they can send me a message in the forum you know and ask me hey do you have any more information on this and i could tell them hey you know go to my blog post i wrote about it uh and you know i could and make sure you, you just you know feel uh don't be afraid to tell people to go to your blog you know be like hey i, I wrote about it and I pr i'll appreciate it if you share the blog if you left a comment and stuff like that so don't be afraid to you know talk to people about your blog but the way to do it is by sharing value with that promotion you know don't just promote your blog without sharing value you know you want to share value first come off as an expert people's gonna be like oh this guy knows what he's talking about right she knows what she's talking about so i'm going to follow her and whenever she talk, she tells me to visit her blog i'm going to go to it because i know what she knows i know what he knows so you get what i'm saying here right so you need to become an expert and it's no hard to become an expert in your niche you have the power of the internet you have the power of google or search engines you have all of the information all of the information on your niche right here you know right in front of you all you got to do is take action do a research learn how to do the research learn how to do it fast learn how to do you know everything right learn how to uh become of value to people in the forums and actually make yourself noticeable make yourself known you know Put effort in becoming ex an expert and put effort in becoming known in the forum. All right. Lead lead with value, not with, uh, uh, you know, pitch sales or I mean, sales pitch. And, and, you know, you don't want to be a spammy. All right. You don't want to just go into in the forums and just put your links everywhere. You are going to get banned and you are going to get kicked out of the forum if you do that. So uh, just value okay guys value lead with value and then the traffic will follow and that's pretty much all you need to know all you need to know about forum marketing all right and in the next video i'll probably talk about uh another strategy a strategy to get more free traffic to your blog there are many ways and i'm going to be revealing some of the things that i personally do uh for free so uh, stay tuned to the videos uh, subscribe to the channel don't forget to follow me on the social networks facebook twitter google plus show some support you know because if you support me more then i can do more for you and show you more stuff i can you know invest more in my education so i can teach you more uh, for free you know i like to give back a lot and the way you can pay me you know let's say that is by sharing this on the social networks and leaving that comment leaving a comment below the video and just supporting the site online and then i will support you you know i will give back to you and, and really show you exactly how it's done exactly how you can build a successful blog online and that, you know exactly how to drive free traffic and eventually you know once you start making more money you want to learn how to 
get paid traffic you know but that that will be in the near future once i'm done recording all of the videos to teach you how to get free traffic i'm going to jump into paid traffic uh but you know i'm just going to i'm just going to teach you everything about making money on the internet all right so i'll talk to you later i wish you the best success ever and don't forget to follow me talk to you later